Hi, I'm Mark from CEM Engineering and Energy Radio. And this is your Energy News Update. In this week's headlines, OPG collaborating with Moltex to study clean energy solutions. We are sitting on a gold mine of renewable energy, says SFU policy expert. World adds record new wind energy and solar power capacity in 2020. White House wants nuclear and clean energy mandate, McCarthy says. We're going to head over to my colleague Lisa Barber for today's top stories. Thank you, Mark, and welcome to this week's edition of Energy News. Last week, shortly after the Supreme Court of Canada's ruling upholding the federal carbon tax, Premier Jason Kenney slammed the Supreme Court by saying it erodes provincial jurisdiction and undermines our constitutional federal system, while he left the door open to a potential main number to levy. Kennedy said we are going to consult with Albertans and also talk to our allied provinces to determine the best way forward to protect jobs and the economy in Alberta, to minimize the cost of any future policies on this province. One thing Albertans can be sure of is we are not going to use this, the excuse of the decision or the federal carbon tax to squeeze more money for the government out of Albertans. But asked if a provincial carbon levy could be back on the table to keep those dollars in Alberta after the UCP government repealed the former NDP government's tax following the 2019 election, Kennedy said his government would consider all options and seek input from Albertans. In other news, hydrogen is regaining interest worldwide, including in the province of Quebec, where several small and large hydrogen-related initiatives and projects have been launched in the last few years. Aiming to capitalize on the province's abundant hydroelectric resources, the Quebec government has demonstrated support for the emerging hydrogen sector by making green hydrogen a key component of the province's economy and energy transition, and positioning the province as a leader of green hydrogen production. The formal release of Quebec's green hydrogen and bioenergy strategy is expected in the fall of 2021. Development of the green hydrogen sector is seen as a key component in helping to achieve the province's target of reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by 37.5% by 2030 as compared to the 1990 level. My name is Lisa Barber and this was this week's edition of Energy News. Thank you very much and back to you Mark. Thanks Lisa. To dive deep into these stories, check out our LinkedIn profile. All the articles will be posted there. This has been your Energy News Update. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, power your purpose.